Hey guys, it's Cynthia, AKA Sinful, and I'm back with another video about the narcissistic abuse cycle. So in my previous videos, we covered phase one, love bombing, phase two, devaluing, and now we're at phase three, the discard phase. So when I think of the narcissistic abuse cycle and the discard phase, I like to think of it as a child with a toy. And we can easily compare a narcissist to a child, right? They have the same level of emotional intelligence. Okay, so let's think about a child when they get a new toy. How are they acting with the toy at first, right? They're acting very excited, happy with the toy. They're playing with the toy every single day. Day in and day out, they love that toy, right? Okay, and then over time, what happens to the toy? The toy starts to become beat up, it starts to look a little rough, and then the toy ends up breaking a lot of times, right? And what does the child want to do with the toy at that point? They want to get rid of it. They want to dispose of it. And what do they want? A new toy. A toy that hasn't been beat up. A toy that doesn't look rough. A toy that looks nice and fancy. A fresh toy. Okay? So that's pretty much how the narcissistic abuse cycle works. Guys, narcissists need fresh supply. And when I say fresh supply, I'm talking about people who have not seen what's under their mask. People who have not been manipulated by them people who don't know who they are and what they are, okay? So after the narcissist has put you through this devaluing stage and you've seen what's underneath their mask and they've been abusing you, emotionally abusing you, possibly physically abusing you over a large amount of time, you become drained. You don't have anything left to give. Narcissists feed off of your reactions. They feed off of your energy. They feed off of being able to control and manipulate you. And when they drain you to your core, guess what? You're useless to them. And that's when the discard phase comes. They will dispose of you like it's nothing, out of nowhere, out of the blue. No explanation a lot of times, like you're just a piece of trash. They will just discard you, okay? And why do they do this? Well, besides the fact that you're useless to them now, they have usually already lined up a new supply, okay? You were their supply before, right? When they first met you and they were love bombing you and you were easily manipulated and you fell into their fantasy world that you were living in with them, it will dispose of you like it's nothing, like you're nothing. Out of the blue, a lot of times with no explanation at all, like you're a piece of trash. They're going to discard you because you are no longer of any use to them. And guess what? At this point, the narcissist usually already has a new supply lined up so that they can continue the cycle with the new person and feed off of them, okay? The new supply doesn't know what's under that mask. The new supply doesn't know what they are and who they are, okay? And the new supply usually overlaps with your relationship. So during the devaluing stage, while they are devaluing you and degrading you and disrespecting you, and making you feel like crap all the time, they usually already have a new person that they are love bombing. So during the devaluing stage with you, usually overlaps with the love bombing stage with the new supply, okay? And they're also usually telling the new supply all kind of crazy things about you. Oh, my ex is so crazy. They, they did me wrong. They did this to me. They did that to me. And they're victimizing themselves to the new supply and giving a whole pity party with the new supply so they can pull them in the same way that they did you in the love bombing phase. But there are some other situations that might cause the narcissist to discard you. Even if they weren't necessarily done with you yet, they weren't necessarily done with manipulating you and controlling you and using you, they might also discard you if you get pregnant, if you just lost your job, if you get very ill, or if you have a family member that's very ill, any type of situation where the spotlight is off of them. Because the narcissist has to have all the attention on them all the time. They want you to pour all your energy into them. So if you're in a situation that causes the spotlight to get off of them and something where they require their energy to go into you instead, mm -mm, they're gonna discard you. And after being discarded, you're going to be left feeling confused, distraught, depressed, full of anxiety, because you're trying to figure out what even just happened. The narcissistic abuse cycle is the most confusing cycle to ever go through. It confuses your brain so much that when you finally get out of it, you don't know what the hell just happened to you. And you're left wondering how you could pour so much of yourself into someone. How could you give all of your energy to someone, all of your love, and they just dispose of you like a piece of trash. 
is because they never loved you. They only loved what you could do for them and how they could use you to their advantage. And they lack empathy. We know that narcissists lack empathy. So they don't see anything wrong. They could just dispose of you and it doesn't affect them. A normal person would feel bad, would feel some type of guilt, remorse, but they don't. They just move on to the next person and put them through the same exact abuse cycle that they put you through. But there's another type of discard, guys. And let's call it the reverse discard, okay? A narcissist does not like to look bad to the public. They don't wanna look bad to your mutual friends, to their family, to your family. So what a lot of narcissists will do is they will devalue you so badly or they will put you in a ridiculous situation to where you're forced to discard them. You can't take it any longer. You are forced to get rid of them. And this is all part of their plan. They do this on purpose so that they can say that they tried so hard and you got rid of them, you broke up with them. And then guess what that allows them to do? It allows them to victimize themselves and give their pity party like they usually do. The discard is painful no matter what type of discard it was, whether you discarded them, whether they discarded you. The discard is painful no matter what type of discard it was, whether you discarded the narcissist, whether they discarded you. It's gonna be painful either way because it's a very confusing experience. You don't know what just happened to you, right? But the fact of the matter is that there is no rhyme or reason in this very sick type of abuse. So the more time that you spend trying to figure it out, the more you're gonna get confused and the more you're gonna get depressed. There is no reasoning with chaos. So that's the end of my series on the narcissistic abuse cycle. We had love bombing, devaluing, and now the discard. But my next video is going to be about the Hoover. This is when the narcissist tries to pull you back into their very sick cycle. So guys, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.